Hello, Faith Christian Center, and welcome to this Thursday edition of Fireside Chat. So glad that you've joined us today, whether it's through Facebook, whether it's through YouTube, or whether it's through Instagram, or however else you've joined this today. This is what we do is every day, we almost every day, I try to come to you with about a five-minute clip just to encourage you and to stay focused, especially in this time of so many challenges and when we are not able to come together as a body, as a church, the way we normally would have come together. And so we want to use this as a way to keep us focused, to help us to continue to grow and to keep in contact with each one of you. So, so glad you joined us today. We've been talking uh, over this last week or so about how God uses our relationships to reveal to us where we are spiritually and to help and for us as opportunities or lessons to grow. And it's so important because it's so easy. We talked about this especially yesterday. It's so easy to judge where we are spiritually by other things, by outward things. And whereas what matters to God most is the relationship we have with each other. And so this is what he's called us to do. And so the first thing we've seen is God uses our relationships with one another, especially those relationships that are bumpy, where there's friction, where we may not get along with one another, or where we may just plain not like one another, or where somebody's done something to hurt you or done something against you. God uses those as opportunities for us to grow in the love that he has for us and through us, the love that he has for others. And yesterday we saw that the standard that God has for us is not that we just get along. That's a standard that they have in, in, in nursery school for four-year-olds and five-year-olds to get along with one another, to keep their hands to themselves. But we're growing and maturing as sons and daughters of the living God, and therefore we're called to live our life the same way he lived his life when he walked in this earth. And to do that, he's given us his spirit. So what we see is that the measure of our spirituality is not in the outward things we do. It's in the way we respond to one another. And the, the greatest evidence of that and the greatest opportunity to grow are in those relationships that are the most challenging. So very often that starts at home, whether it's with your spouse, whether it's with your children, whether it's with some relative. Uh, very often these are the most challenging because they know, each other, they know us best, first of all. And secondly, we're living in a closer relationship with them, and so we're more likely to bump heads and rub against each other. But maybe it's somebody at work. Maybe it's somebody here at church. Maybe it's somebody in your neighborhood, somebody that just rubs you the wrong way. Well, the start is to ask yourself why. And here's what we talked about yesterday. You were called to love one another, commanded to love one another with the same kind of love that Jesus has loved us, that God through him has loved us. And that's a love that is not based on whether I'm lovable or not. It's based on a decision, an act of our will. And this is one of the most powerful things I ever learned in my life. And that's this, that love, this kind of love is not an emotion. Because we're taught that in our society. Hollywood sells this, that people fall in love. And the whole, it's like falling in a hole. It just sort of happened by accident. I just looked up, there she was across the room, and I just fell in love. The problem is if I fall in love, I can fall out of love. And that's happening far too much in our society today. Even among Christians, there, well, I've had many people come and say, Pastor, I just, I don't love her anymore. I don't, I don't love her anymore. And I said, what does that got to do with it? You made a vow and a commitment for God that you were going to love this person. It has nothing to do with what you feel. And what I've learned is that my feelings will follow my, my will, my decision. Next month, my wife and I will be married 53 years. And i got to tell you, not every day, in fact, many days out of that 53 years, I did not feel like I was madly in love with her, and she didn't feel like she was madly in love with me. But what I've learned is I can get up every day and I can choose to fall in love with her today. And I don't, by fall, I mean I can choose to love her with all my heart. And what I found out is I begin to act that way, my emotions begin to follow that. Well, that's not just true with my life. It's true with you. Maybe you've rubbed me the wrong way, or I've rubbed you the wrong way, or I've said something you don't like and you're angry with me, or, or whatever, whoever it is. You can choose. You're empowered because you're made in God's image. You can choose to give God's love to them. Now, it fights our flesh. Our flesh doesn't want to do it. Our flesh wants to strike back. Our flesh wants to defend itself. Our flesh wants to promote itself. It want, but you have the power as a Christian to put that down and to act. I'm going to act like I love you whether I feel it or not. And here's the bottom line. We're commanded to do that. We don't have that option. 
and it really comes down, and maybe we'll talk about this tomorrow, it really comes down, it's really exercised most powerfully when we have to forgive somebody that's done something against us. We don't want to do that. We want them to get into their what's due them. We want to get back at them, and we'll, we'll talk more about this tomorrow. But it's in the process, it's in the decision to forgive somebody, no matter what they've done to me, that that, that power of that love is most powerfully released. And, and I'll end with this. Just remember this. Jesus said that if we don't forgive one another, then our Heavenly Father can't forgive us. I don't know about you, but I need my Heavenly Father's forgiveness. And so I have no choice about whether I want to forgive you and walk in love with you. Now, either Jesus means that or he doesn't mean that. And we're kind of confronted with that statement. So I'm going to leave you with that thought. Who in your life right now are you holding on to something against? You can choose as an act of your will to forgive them. And when you do that, the Holy Spirit now begins to engage with you and helps you to release that hurt and release that anger. Sometimes this happens instantly. Sometimes it's a process. But it starts and it continues with an act of your will. So I'm going to trust that as you begin to do that, God's going to begin to work in you, continue to work in you, to grow and to mature us into the image of Christ because that's what we're here to do. God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And we'll see you again tomorrow. God bless you.